Adorable. Oh. All right, did you know that dogs react differently to heat depending on their breed? Yeah, and like people, dogs cannot regulate their body temperatures, mm -hmm. so it's always important to make sure our four-legged friends are being taken care That's of. That's why they pant, right? They get the heat out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. But they're, aw, see right there, <laughs> panting. <laughs> oh. Rochelle and Cherise Lejeune are here from the Wisconsin Humane Society to tell us how to keep our pets safe and keep them cool. And I just am cracking up <gasps> about the fact that they're twin dogs <laughs> yeah. and twin people. It worked out. We've been practicing. you got to show a four <laughs> shot. <laughs> yeah, we need a four <laughs> shot of these. It's we had so a plan. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. And they went with the darker haired yeah. dog, yeah. With the darker haired twin, and the lighter yeah. haired. There you yeah. go. That is so awesome. Yeah. I feel like you guys just need to adopt these right. dogs. I know. Maybe that's what we should do. We'll take them home right after this. <laughs> these two little Good ones. Good friend, Tiffany. Yeah. Yeah. They're available up at our Wisconsin Humane Society Ozaki campus up in Sockville. So they'll be available today when we open at 2 o'clock. And, and they can be split up. Yes, they can be. Okay. They definitely, they're three month old little terrier mixes, and they're both females. They're already spayed, microchipped, and vaccinated. So they're all Do they fed. actually recommend that they go separately? Because don't they say sometimes they don't bond as well? Right. We typically oh. recommend starting with one puppy because they'll, they'll bond more closely oh. with each other than they will with you as their guardian. Mm -hmm. So it's really a great <gasps> idea, you know, if you're considering adopting puppies, just to adopt, you know, one, start with one, and then you can always add a second to the family. But mm -hmm. they are like celebrity dogs. Look they at them. are. They've been practicing for this. <laughs> yeah. What are their names? This is Lila and okay. this is Lily. Lily. Yes. Oh, and it's a great God. time. You know, the puppy stages, the benefit of having one is that you can mm -hmm. focus on oh, the they're training. Kissing. They're you kissing. Can, <laughs> oh. They're kissing. You can focus on the house training. You can focus on loose leash walking. Oh. All these things that you might be trying to divide your time if you had more than one. Yeah. So it's definitely great to start out with one. But well, what's the personality are? of a terrier? What? Who do um, they fit in with well? And they're very intelligent dogs. They yeah, definitely very. love to have something to do. Um, so really, an active family. I mean, these little girls are pretty laid back, um, but sometimes their personalities come out a little bit more when they're at home. So um, very intelligent dogs. They love to learn. Don't let them fool you. They yes, <laughs> they're definitely very very playful. They so. probably would learn very quickly in like puppy manners classes. So okay. Yeah. <laughs> Let's talk about summer and taking care of our pets. Is it okay yes. to walk dogs on hot days? You know, well, we say, you know, dogs, of course, need exercise, you know, year-round. However, we really have to be mindful of the temperatures outside. And we say walk in the coolest times of the day, early morning, in the evening hours. And during the day, keep walks brief. Um, always test the asphalt, too, with your hand to make sure oh. the temperature is safe mm -hmm. to walk on. Because they're so close to the asphalt when they yeah. walk that their bodies can heat up very yeah. quickly. Mm -hmm. um, and they can even burn the uh, pads of their paws. Uh -huh. So during those hot days, really be mindful. You know, their bodies are so close to the asphalt that they heat up a lot faster than we do. Yeah, and probably bring them a lot of water, right? Yeah, exactly. exactly. Keeping them hydrated all the time. Um, even if you don't think it's hot, they're still panting. They release, you know, that heat through the panting. So um, dogs that have a little bit of a harder time, of course, that you have to be mindful of are those that are elderly or um, overweight or have a heart condition or a lung condition. So those dogs you have to take a special especially good care of and keep them in the air conditioning. Mm -hmm. Are there any breeds that are more susceptible or? Yes, yes, actually those little kind of shorter, uh, shorter noses. Um, yeah, like our breathing issues. Yes. yes, yep, it's harder for them to pant. So, so like, like pugs, pugs, pugs yeah. Yeah. Pekingese, Shih Tzus, Shih Tzus, Boston Terriers, Persian cats. Mm -hmm. um, it's harder for them to, to pant, so they just can't release that heat as effectively. What about um, their, their fur, their coats? If it's real thick, yes. do you have to be more concerned about them? You know, brushing them consistently to make sure that they're not getting matted and getting that heat trapped. Um, but we always recommend, you know, some people think they have to shave them down to the skin to keep mm -hmm. them cooler, which really, you know, their fur protects them from sunburn, mm -hmm. so they can certainly oh, get yeah. a, a haircut, you know, and take them yeah. to the groomers, keep them uh, free from mats. But um, definitely you don't want to cut it down close to their skin because that protects them from sunburn. Yeah. So. How can you tell if, a, if an animal is having a heat stroke? Because, you know, yeah. we think of the panting and all that, but right. wh what's the point where it turns Look for to the something signs. dangerous? Well, you know, the good thing is taking those precautions like we talked about, keeping them hydrated, but mm -hmm. definitely um, keeping a close eye on them because they can become, um, they can get heat stroke very quickly. So nose for signs of excessive panting, um, increased heart rate, vomiting, mm -hmm. diarrhea. Mm. Um, their gums might be mm. bright red or pale yeah I know, <laughs> so it's just better so to protect sad. them and definitely you know especially when you're out and summertime is a great time to you know be with friends and family but when you're taking them to events um, keep them in the shade. Yeah. Um, also, you know, when you have them, a lot of people like to take their dogs to go swimming or take them to the lake or the pool. Never leave them unsupervised in those areas because not all dogs are good swimmers. Mm -hmm. And you just want to prevent them from drinking uh, pool water as well. Because okay. Of, um, exactly.
Yeah, Rochelle, Rochelle, we're gonna miss you. This I is your know. last time with us, at least I for a know. while, because you're taking an exciting new job I am. out of state where yes. you're gonna be working at a horse farm, right? Horse rescue, yes. Yeah, so it's very exciting, but I will dearly miss it. Um, being at the Wisconsin Humane Society has been an amazing seven years. And uh, my twin sister will still be there to keep yes. to keep me posted. <laughs> you two are splitting up. up. We are yes. up. And we've been doing this forever, so yes. it's, it's our one last time we wanted to come yes. on together. We so. Did. So, so you cute. may see me back, though. Who knows? I might sneak in. <laughs> we're always welcome. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we hope you'll you. come back and see us, because it's you. been a blast getting to know you. Yeah. We're excited that we'll still see you. I will still be Back. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. It'll be available when we open at 2 o'clock today. So. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. What are their names again? Lily and Lila. That's Lily little and Lila. Lila. Yeah. And this is little <laughs> Lily. Oh, 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 oh. Here's how you get them. You call the Humane Society in Sockville or you stop in. It's 262-377-7580. WIHumane.org. There's a lot of animals available for adoption on the mm -hmm. website as well. You can find out about their personalities there too. Or stop in for Lily and Lila. So <laughs> who's cuter? The brunette or the blonde? <laughs> oh, no. We're talking yeah. about the dogs. I don't know. <laughs> Great to see you guys and Thank congratulations you. to you. Yeah, Come back and see us. Oh,